All right, could, could, could you introduce uh, yourself? And, and um, I'm John Coleman, a um, Brisbane artist. Uh, I've been practicing for about 15 years and I've always worked with uh, moving things and solar powered things and wind powered things. So, right, great. That's the type of work I do. Yeah. Cool. Could you describe what you've done here? Well, this one I've, I've made it out of the, the, the lids of recycle bins. There's two recycle bins joined together and I've, I've painted an earth and I've kept it similar to the um, Green Earth Day picture of the world sort of thing, so I've sort of kept that sort of rough thing. And then on the bottom I've got a disability scooter that I've chopped up and uh, kept a solar panel for that to make it spin basically. Yeah. Right. So it's just a simple solar powered spinning object. Yeah. Nice work, nice work. Um, and so you've been doing this for a few years, sort of like, you know, art and solar power. So what, that I have, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the what first, are some of the other? first work I did is called the Sunflower, it's the bottom of Kangaroo Point Cliffs. And it's a big, you know, six metre tall flower with a three metre diameter radius. It's got solar panels on the pedals. And uh, when the sun comes up over the Kangaroo Point Cliffs, it starts spinning. Yeah. Right. Yeah, cool, cool. And um, some of the other works you've done? Oh, so? I've got a solar powered piano at Walcott Park at Red Hill. And you run your hand across and plays all different notes. Um, I've got a vibrating mushroom as well that's solar powered. Uh, uh, yeah. got solar power. Then I've got some, um, I've got other things that work off wind and rain and things. I've got one up a cloud that fills with water and tips. Um, yeah. So yeah, I sort of work with those sort of yeah. forces and forces in nature that are around. Yeah. Awesome. And, and so like, yeah, you're really interested in um, obviously sort of energy sources that are you know friendly to the environment and that sort yeah, of thing you, yeah. you really can to sort of see more of that sort oh of... i love seeing that happen and i love using that in the work um, artistically i like the fact that it means that the sculpture's responding to the to its own environment if you like you know if it's a cloudy day or right now the sun's gone too far the sculpture stops and it's sort of it, but it's interacting with what's happening in the day sort of thing and i, I like yeah. that artistically but but simply the green energy side of things is, the way to go on things and um, yeah I, I personally find it unbelievable what we pay in power bills is it is enough for us to be green already and they keep telling us we can't go green because um, because it costs too much and yet they're already charging us a rate that we'd be able to pay over a 25 year period if you pay for a solar system so yeah. yeah yeah a few friends have bought stuff recently and like they i think they were actually expecting to pay for it quicker but uh, maybe they weren't um doing their entire place solar powered mm. but a good proportion of it that's yeah, for sure yeah um your your house is solar powered yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. cool and already you know paying for itself you know, 20 dollars power for the last one so that was all right there yeah yeah yeah, yeah sweet sweet um yeah can you think of anything else like uh, were you involved in Green Earth Festival last year? Or? No, I wasn't. No, I knew Lee, um, who organised it, and um, done a sort of saw the opportunity to do. Like, like most of my work is, you know, public sculptures, and it was nice to do something like this. It was just throwing something together, and um, it's how I used to work before I got paid work, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. And, and just on, on Green Earth Festival, like, you know, what, what do you think of it? Like, you know, I mean, obviously there's the environmental side of it, but there's all the other sides of it as well. Like, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, I think it's, it's, like I say, it's the first time I've been here. I think it's a tremendous idea. It's, um, it's, you'd like to see more of them in some ways, you know, I mean, more people coming together and expressing their views on things. And uh, I think there's a lot more people who want us to go green with everything than, um, than the politicians think, if you like, you know. They're sort of run, running scared when they don't need to be. Yeah, yeah definitely. And I think big business sort of wants to keep things the way they are because it oh, you know, I, I'm sure. ensures the income. Absolutely. Well, or like I say, you're paying so much already for your power bill. There's, there's something funny there. And then the other thing that's weird is that we sold all our power stations right when we knew that we were going to have to change things. And that was, that's fishy in itself, you know, because all of a sudden you can't... Now they've got to compensate this power stations that they said people have bought power stations as well as try and make things go green and so it's it's uh, you know it's it's all strange what's going on yeah yeah, yeah. oh well there's at least there's you know the solution for people who can can at least afford to invest uh, and buy solar panels and that sort of thing and it's likely to become cheaper as well that's true yeah that's true yeah. Yeah. but it could all happen a whole lot quicker you know we we, we could have had um 
all the money that's spent in subsidising houses to get solar panels, the government could have, if they owned the power systems, just bought you know, 10 million solar panels and installed them, and it would have been cheaper than what they'd done and, and you know, 100 times more effective. What um, future art projects have you got planned? Um, at the moment, there's a job down at Springbrook that I'm going for. That's a problem. I'm going for it. I'm in with three other people to try and get it. It, it has um, solar powered sculptures too. There's, a, there's one with bird sounds that's a bit like a piano, and you, bird images light up as you play the different sounds of the birds. Um, and another one has. Uh, metal creatures over a sandstone rock and as you touch the creatures they'll talk to you. And uh, cool. the third one is some metal creatures. On oh, the other one is, is has plant species and they're similar to the bird one but you, you press a button and it asks you to look for certain plant species and then you touch a button and it says what so, so it's sort of you're trying to you know search and find what you're being asked to find sort of thing. So so it's, it's within a playground and they're based to the kids to be able to play with them is, is the idea of the rules. Great stuff. Okay, okay well thanks very much right for your time. Okay, right? thank you. Yeah, good luck with it. Good on yeah, you. Cheers. <laughs> yeah.